All right, folks, so I just finished podcast 255 on pigtails for plural problems. And if you haven't listened to that podcast yet, I think it's better to listen to that first and then watch this video um, because I discuss some of the reasons I choose to do things certain ways in that podcast. And then uh, you can come on back and watch this video of a, a real life pigtail placement. The patient was consented. Uh, she understood that it was being filmed and used for educational purposes. There is no way to identify her. So that's all good. And um, if you are curious or had questions or have ways you do it differently and wanted to comment, then just go to podcast 255 and put the comments there. I'm going to close comments to this actual video post. And that way, all the uh, comments on pigtails will be placed in one place. All right, let's get right to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert the internal dilator into there, and that's going to straighten out your pig. Yep. Nope, don't turn it Good. Now it locks. Just hold this one. Insert like this. Okay. All right. You got your wire. Wire is super easy to kink on this kit, and the dialer is super easy to kink. So I will show you the trick when we get to it that will prevent that from happening. All right. We're not going to use that whole needle. That was good. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to film right in there. So you're going straight in. You might hit rib. All right, you're going to feel some pressure. If you feel pain, tell us, and we'll stop, and we'll give you some more pain meds. All right. Mm -hmm. You're pulling back the whole time. Yes? Yes. Okay. You got air? Yes. All right, hold needle. Hold needle. Okay, so you don't need an enormous nick. I'd say about, like, I go a third of the way on the blade. Mm -hmm. Again, you shouldn't feel anything, but if you do, let us know. Okay. Hey, hey. Um, Always make sure your wire moves around within the cut you just made. All right, now here's the move of the dive. You first put it on. All right, now you're gonna to get to a point where you reach a little bit of resistance. You feel it? Should be there right now, right? Yeah. So what you do when you reach that resistance is you push against it. Okay. You okay? I'm just a little dizzy, nauseous. Yep, that's from the fentanyl, not from us. And then you twist. And you're kind of trying to grab all the fascia okay. onto the dilator. And then when you get enough twisted, you pull back to rip that. And okay. then you go in and do it again. And if you're reaching a lot of resistance, you always wrap your wire to make sure it moves freely. <laughs> what you're doing is you're making a track for yourself. But when you're pulling back out, you're holding the tension on the twist so that you're actually ripping fascia. Uh-huh. And your wire never moves out. Your dilator moves over your wire. It goes in. That's the one. Yep. See that one? That's going to be the one that does it. All right, do that again. See if you're free now. Yep. Yep. All right, keep going in. Let's see where you are. Yep, that's perfect. That's enough. All right. Okay. Wire stays steady and the dilator comes out over it. It's called a pinch and pull. Have you ever done a pinch and pull? No, I haven't. All right, let go of everything. So you pinch the wire mm -hmm. and you pull back like a sonometer. And then you repinch the wire, you pull back another sonometer. Mm -hmm. And that way the wire doesn't buckle over your dilator. Uh -huh. And you're ripping fascia as you're doing this, which is great. So keep twisting as you pull out. Uh -huh. Twist, twist, twist. Good. All right, grab your wire. Well done. All right, that was the worst. Okay. We're, we're in the midst. We can't be interrupted. Okay, so I'll hold the back of this while you insert. Okay. 
Uh-huh. Yep. No, no, you'll never run out of wires. So always, always, you don't even have to be close. You'd be like here. You're never going to run out of wires. Keep going. More? Good. That's enough. Okay, I got this back here. I got your wire and your dialer. Now you're just going to advance it to that first line. And now depending on how far you had to go with your needle will tell you whether you should go to that second line. And on most patients, I'll go to the second line. Go to the second line. Good. Now at this point, if you want to advance further, you can't have the dilator leaving the pigtail um, in a straight line, because then you start worrying about hitting mediastinum. So I always withdraw so that I know it's still stiff, but if I'm advancing, it's with the pigtail. And you know, you could probably advance to that third line or leave it right there, we'll leave it right there. And now this comes out, wire comes out, and now we clamp. And now we can either hook it up to the puller back, which we'll do in a second, or if you want to make sure you're in, you could always reattach a syringe. Nice, easy withdrawal there. All right, Kate, can you hand us just the tip of the puller back? And the wire's out, Kate. All right, so we're going to lock this bad boy right here. Let's see how that goes on. Yep. Thank you, Kate. You can take it off suction, please. Okay, hold that. Good. So now we're going to open it. You, you, we don't need suction. Just leave it off, please. Okay. Yep. Okay, so now you always make sure you can see titling before you secure it. So we see air regressing and we see titling. So I mean, titling is the ball going up and down, yeah. and the air regress is in the air chamber. So now we know we're in perfect position. Now, so, now they give you a suture, but it's kind of tiny. I don't like it. So, somewhere right here. I dropped a 2-0. Now, I usually, when I remember it, I grab an actual um, suture set so that you don't have to do what we're about to do now. Okay. But you hold everything. All right, you might feel one little pinch. I don't think you will, but if you do, let me know, okay? okay. I hate having to hold needles, but... Mm -hmm. Now we'll just do the normal Roman sandal jump. How you doing, Kelly? Okay? I'm alright. I'm just sewing it now, so you handled the worst stuff like a champ. Thank you. That's that. Now the rest of it's just taped up. Kate, can you see if you can rustle up from that uh, part two of the, the medium-sized pegaderms? All right, hold right here so we don't 